Hi guys, welcome back to another declutter video. So I'm back. I just decided, decided to drop everything on the little rug in my room. <sighs> Maybe that's better. Guys, when I do these declutter videos, you know, I would love to send whatever. If anybody wanted anything, you know, the shipping part, it doesn't matter to me. Like I'll pay for shipping for you guys because you guys are so great. But the way I work, by the time I'm at work, the post office is just opening up when I'm due for work. And by the time I get off, the post office is closed. And I'm not close enough to a post office to like run on my lunch break. And on the weekends, the post office is closed. So I really can't say, oh, I'll ship it to you all. And then I have to wait until I have a day off. And then that might be like a couple of weeks. Like when I say I want to give you something, like I just expect to give it to you the same day or the next day. I don't want you to wait like weeks to get it. You know what I mean? So if anybody has any ideas, like it doesn't I don't mind like giving it away to, especially to someone who wants makeup and loves makeup as much as I do, because that's a very hard to find nowadays. People aren't into makeup like me. So let's jump right into it. I hope my camera focuses. So the first thing we got here is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals Palette. I was looking for this for a while. No wonder I couldn't find it because it was on the bottom of the drawer. So, I hope that it'll focus today. Okay. So, you know, this is just the basic brown shades, which I love. I'm definitely going to keep this one. I need to put it on my makeup desk so that I can use this. But this is a really pigmented palette. I think at one point, you know, some people had some problems with a Jaclyn Hill palette. One of the ones, but I've never had. So, this is a keeper. Do y'all know how old this is? <laughs> so that should tell you how long I've been into makeup. Like this is an Urban Decay palette. It's look like it's barely been used. If you ask me, naked, naked. This was so popular one time. I think this was the only eyeshadow palette that people use. So this will go. I'm gonna put it right here. So this will go in a giveaway. The next one is the Violets palette by Juvia's, which you all know that. I love because I've been using it on my channel. Oh, there's a purple shade. Remember, guys, I did a look probably like last week and I was looking for like a light purple to put on my lid. Here it is right here. See, that's why it's good to declutter because that way you'll know what you have. So keeping this one. What is this? This is a The Balm. They were real popular too at one point. Nuditude palette. I don't even remember this. I probably do. I think I probably picked this up years, years ago from like Nostrums or something. And these are the shades. This brown is the most pigmented brown that you will ever find. Do I want to keep this one? I think I want to keep this one just because of that brown. So keeping that one. Here's some more of the... <laughs> Perfusion, this would be a really good, even though I have a nude, I'm quite sure somewhere, but that would be a really good lid shade with the brown in the crease, those two. But giveaway, I don't need no more perfusion. Stella, do y'all remember Stella? Oh, these look plain and basic. Plain and basic, brown, black, nude, gray, orange. They look, uh, they look blah. But I'm quite sure when I picked this palette up, I had to have it. That can go. Here's another perfusion. These palettes right here look the same. Don't they? It's the same palette except one is circle and one is square. That's the same palette. Giveaway. What is this? Oh gosh. Y'all, I need to do better. This is BH Cosmetic. It's my Ray Ray palette. And I don't even think she makes YouTube videos anymore, but she was a YouTuber. This one broke because I did not use that highlighter. But this one broke, and these are the colors. Some will call all oh, two of those broke. 
Hmm. I didn't even I didn't use this palette at all. It's never been swatched. They just broke. It's never been used. Well, I'll give it away. If you don't use it, if somebody want it. If you don't mind like dusty shadows, then <laughs> then you can have it. But and this is an Amuse palette, something from Shop Miss A which they are come on to focus okay they are usually a dollar these are real pretty like green shades you can really make a look with this i don't need it though so and it comes with a little brush give away what is this la girl break free eyeshadow I know I got, um, look what it say. What did it say? It still got the plastic on it. That should tell you something. It says break free and the first one up here is all crumbled up. It is not break free. I hope it's, I'm not blinding y'all. So yeah, these are the colors without me blinding y'all. But the plastic is still on it so it won't come out. But I never used this one. That can go. Bright Matte Palette by, what was this by? Beauty Bay. Oh, those are really, really pretty colors. I just recently brought this like last year or something. So I'll keep this one because I never played with it. Juvia's The Masquerade Palette. At one point, everybody on Earth had this palette. And if you could see mine, you could see that I masqueraded it and never played with it. <laughs> but I am because I've been into pinks. That pink is pretty. Oh, and that deep purple is pretty. And that purple is pretty. All right. Yeah, see that? Juvia's. I don't know what they put in their eyeshadow palettes. But it's pigmented. So we're going to keep this one, keep the party going with that one. What is this? Sienna's by Perfusion. I need a Perfusion. Call me, please. Oh, that's a pretty brown. I ain't going to swatch it though because I need to, do I need to get this away? I have a million of these, these, this row right here is all I know. Like these browns and all of that, that's the only shades I ever use all the time. I'll get this away. I know I got this in somebody palette. Modern Renaissance. Anastasia Beverly Hills. How old is this palette? Five years old? I probably paid with the browns and the orange shade. Other than that, no. Give away. I um one palette I never owned is the the one Jackie Ina came out with. I never owned that one. The Nubians by Juvia's. This was one of like my first like real palettes. <laughs> one of my first like neutrals palettes that really worked on my skin tone, I think. So yeah, I know how Juvia's um, palette is. I won't swatch those because those aren't really good. Bright colors. What's it? I brought this one probably like last year when it came out. The Rebels, the Mint Palette by Juvia's. Uh, I know I did a video of this trying to, or did I? Because I can't even get in it. Um, it's kind of hard. This one is kind of hard for me because it's not my cup of tea. Y'all know what shades I like. I like golds, and these are leaning more toward the silver side. So I'll give this away because I'm never going to pick it back up. Another LA Girl Break Free Palette. Let's see if it's break. Oh, they're not broken. This one isn't broken, but the plastic is still on it. So I never used it. But it has my 
my, I'm going to call them my, so my traditional browns and sorry if the light's blinding y'all, I'm trying not to let it blind y'all, but my traditional browns, I'm going to keep this one, I'm going to keep this one, I like LA Girl, I like Beauty Supply and Drugstore stuff, so I'm going to keep this one. What is this? The Saharan Blush Volume 2 by Juvia's. Y'all know I just bought some blush from them. And here goes some blush right here. Although these shades aren't. I never used this one. I never ever used it. Mm, even because these shades weren't like, oh, that shows up. I don't know for whatever reason. I thought that that wouldn't show up on my skin. But as you can see, it does. So I need to keep this and play with this. I just assume being how light this was and how dark I am that it wouldn't show up on my skin. But that's what I get. I never swatched it or anything. The next one we got is, I don't know where it is from. It's called Like Gold, but I don't know who it is made by, but this is how it looks, the colors. This one is broken, but as you, some orange, some green, some lime greens, or whatever. I'll give this one away. I don't even know who this is from. I'll give that away. I don't need it. Amuse, another Amuse palette. I think when I go on Shop Miss A, I just start ordering stuff. And I'm on focus. And this is a very neutral, plain, simple palette. I mean, Amuse uh, eyeshadows are really, really pigmented, so don't be surprised giveaway this is a Catrice Pro Palette it's a peach origin some real nice peach shades brown shades y'all know I'm always gonna pick up a palette with the brown in it used it probably like twice I'll give it away oh Juvia's the chocolate palette I did a video about this this was like probably like my 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 what do you call it number one video or whatever this was the first video that i really got some views on this is a really pretty 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 brown i'm keeping this one for sure just for memories the berries by juvia's Let me see if these two are similar. The one I swatched from the masquerade, and then this one. You don't say how similar they are. This is from the masquerade palette. This is from the berries palette. But I'll keep this because I love this. She Glam Forever Feather. And this is a basic with some blues. I can see this being a bird. Blues, orange, greens, cream shade. Never swatched it, never used it. I'll give this away. My dose of color. This I was looking for this. Dose of color cutting edge palette. I was looking for this like a month ago. Could not find it. Because I was looking for this um, shade right here. It's kind of like, if you can see, it's like a gold green. And I wanted to do a look that day with a gold green shade. And could not find this palette for anything. So now I found it. Juvia's The Nubian 2. 
this. Oh, this is big. They were big. This is when they used to make big eyeshadows. I don't think they do that anymore. But hmm, it's a memory. I used to use this. Never use that shade Madagascar. Let's watch this blue. I told y'all. If you don't own just one or maybe two Juvia's palettes, then I just don't know. Like, if you want a, a pigmented eyeshadow palette, then just pick you up a Juvia's base one. Uh, what is this? The Grays by Juvia's. That draw must be was supposed to be my Juvia's place draw. And this is the Silvers and Grays, which I know. I'm not a huge, huge fan of. I did a, I have a, a video on my channel with this. So yeah, I've used it once, but it can go because I don't need this one. I'm not a fan of those colors. Not the formula, just the colors. This is Sephora I Love palette. I think it's like they don't want a fair piece or either it's too black let's see and it was just some gold gold this is a real neutral palette it's called i love deep warm eyeshadow palette i probably use this one time when i did a full face of sephora makeup so i don't need this i got plenty of these colors that can go Juvia's the sweet paint palette. Never touched this one, but now that I'm into paint shades, I might pick it up. Let's swatch this one. We can swatch one more. Let's swatch this one. Since we're going for pink. Oh, that's pretty. It's different. It doesn't look how it looks in the pan. It's pretty. I'll keep that one. Juvia's, the Warriors by Juvia's. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be my Juvia's draw. And just some stuff got mixed up into it. Hmm. Never touched it. <laughs> Never touched it. I need to play with this. We're going to do a Juvia's series where we at least try one palette a week or something. Because this is crazy. And that's the purple shade. Yeah, I need to keep this. So we can play with this. Okay. If you're old to makeup, then you'll know. I got this from Ulta. Retail price was $305 and I got it for $36. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell y'all how old this is, but this is a Lorac uh, palette. Lorac was really popular, at least when I started makeup for eyeshadows and whatnot. So this is a brown palette. This is how the browns look. This is a cream palette. It's supposed to be like a chocolate, like chocolate bars. This is a purple palette. And this is, I use this the most. And this is a toffee palette. So, of course, I'm giving this away because I haven't touched that in decades. Probably had it for decades. The Chocolate Brown Palette by Huda Beauty. Oh, this one broke. I'll probably use that one. I need to mix those two and use that one. I don't have a lot of stuff from Huda, but the stuff I do have seems to work for me, so. Hey. 
Revolution Fierce Animal Palette. Mm. Never touched it. Still got the plastic on it. That's a really pretty, like a burnt orange red shade right there. This is by Makeup Revolution, if I didn't say. So, give that away. I told y'all I had some of these with the tin. I know I did by Makeup Revolution when I did my last haul. I'm like, I have something from them. And this is like a neutral, neutral as you can see, the brown, the gold, the cream. I don't too much care for that glitter. I can look at that glitter and tell that glitter up top is a hard one, a hard glitter. But everything else, I'm going to keep this just for a new look. Uh, Cara Beauty, Bailey versus Kaylee. A very beautiful, 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 beautiful shades. Just never had a chance to really dig into it and play with it. Carver Beauty Beauty Supply, they make beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. I'll give that away. My legs are going numb. <laughs> the next one we have Girl Meets Makeup. This is another thing I purchased like when I first started my YouTube channel. And this is like neutral shades. It reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think these weren't too expensive, but they weren't like beauty supply store cheap. They weren't cheap like that. I'll keep that one. I have two of them. And this one. This one, this, oh, this one I'm trying to break on me. Mm. This one reminds me of, uh -oh. oh, I don't get on my rug now, of like fall with the colors, especially the greens and the red shade. It's kind of hard to find a red eyeshadow shade nowadays. I guess a lot of people don't use red, but yeah, so I'll keep this one. I got to make sure I come vacuum my rug, probably don't mess it up. The next one is this Naughty Palette by Huda Beauty. I got this on Sephora probably when they were having a sale or something. Never really could do anything with it. There's a marble shade. I think I tried to, it's like a gloss, like glossy shade. I need to play with this more. Because that's sad to buy an expensive palette as expensive as this was and not do anything with it. So I'll keep that one. I knew I had another Ace Beauty Butte palette. Flare palette. This is beautiful. And I was on their website the other day. Good thing I didn't order it. I would have been mad. But as you can see, not really touch, but some greens. Mm, that's pretty. That's a pretty lime green shade, but my fingers are, my hands are full. Let's see. If you can see. My hands are full. All my fingers are full of shadow. We got the Wilderness Palette by Beauty, Beauty Bay. I just had to have this palette. I had to have it sometime last year. It came out and I'm like, I just have to have it. I need it. I can't live without it. And look at it. Sad. But that's a really pretty. Really pretty blue. See? Another one. Age of op Opiance, Opilance, Opilance, another one. Couldn't live with it, wasn't going to breathe again like Tony Braxton if I didn't have this uh, eyeshadow palette. And what I do, nothing. Let's watch 
the purple. No, let's watch this. Hope. Let's see. If it give me hope. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Another Carver Beauty, the Spirit Wild Heart. Free Spirit Wild Heart. Another one. Never touched. Never did nothing. Nothing is wrong with it. Like I say, Car Beauty makes beautiful palettes. Give that away. Oh, we almost finished with this draw. Sample Beauty, the Rain palette. I probably got this from Beauty Bay or something. So just a neutral. This is being really like a very good everyday palette. Very good everyday palette. I'll give that away. Juvia's Rebel Honey. These are my favorite brown, gold, yellow. I probably used it one time though, but it's still a pretty palette. I'll keep it. Juvia's The Army's Palette. What was I doing? I need to stay off Juvia's Place website. The Army's Palette. Dark greens, lime greens, 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 greens. <laughs> I want to swatch this green though. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh and I fell in love now. Y'all see that green? And I absolutely fell in love with this palette. I'm trying to focus on that. Look at that green, y'all. Look at that. Mm, that is beautiful. Okay. Don't ask me what this is. This is a Morphe Hot Tropic Fierce Lip Gloss Collection. Mm. My LA girl, they sell these in Dollar General for $2, so that's why I picked it up. LA girl, I love me some LA girl. Keep those. Morphe, what is this? Brontour and Showmance. Remember everybody used to use that? What happened? They fell off because nobody use it no more. But, yeah, I'll get that away because I don't need that. What is this? Pure, the festival palette. Something I picked up from Marshalls. And I used it probably like two, three, four times, but still pretty palette. I'll give that away because I got shades like that. What is this? Morphe 3B eyeshadow, three eyeshadow palette. Oh, y'all remember. When it was just the little simple things that everybody used to just go crazy over. This was one of them. These shades are these shades are so basic and dull that who would care? So I'll give that away. I ain't gonna never use this again. I got shades like this. What is this? The Golden Age palette from Beauty Bay. Now, y'all have seen in this video alone, y'all have seen these colors a million times. I don't need it. What is this? This is Cara Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. I probably need to keep this because y'all know I'm always looking for a nude lipstick and can't never find none. And I'm always using concealer because I can't never find a nude. So I'll keep that. These are Morphe... I don't even know. What is this? Lip cream lip polishes. And these are the shades. I just went and emptied out like one draw, y'all. So I just pulled everything that was in the drawer out. So this is how they look. They fit a focus. So I'll give these away because I know I never used them. It probably was on sale for like 99 cents or something. And a Morphe Single Eyeshadow in Deep Cocoa. 
Let's see if I need it. If I don't, I don't. It's like a plum almost, a plum color. Yeah, it's like a plum color. I'll give it away. There's nothing in here. It's just color pop something. But this is another single eyeshadow from Morphe. Secretive. Looks like a deep brown, reddish brown shade. Let's give it away. Morphe, another deep one. Mocha, single one. And last but not least, what is this? This is called Devil. I never liked the name of it, but this is a MAC blush in orange. Have no idea why they named it Devil, but a MAC single blush in orange. I'll keep that one. And then last thing from the draw is this Leo, Big Leo Energy from ColourPop. I think I love this. That's it. I think I love it. Mama, either you know you love it or you don't love it. But it's my browns and my peachy shades, which I'm a big fan of nowadays. So I'll keep that. That's sad that all of this was in one draw. Ugh. So all of this stuff right there. All of this stuff right here, I'll give away. I gotta find a way to if somebody wants it, because I won't be able to like ship it out until until I have like a half a day or I get a day off or something like that. I just don't wanna promise you guys that hey you'll get this and then it'll take me like a week, maybe two weeks to actually get it to you. So we'll find a way to work it out somehow but if you guys remember any of these makeup or they these eyeshadow palettes or they bring back fond memories or you still have them or you still use them drop down and let me know and I'll see y'all next week for another declutter because I feel like we're making progress and y'all know I got to show y'all the eyeshadows most of these are Juvia's and don't sleep on Juvia's to this day don't sleep on Julia's eyeshadow palettes. Either Beauty Bay. Either Beauty Bay. So, let's see. Make sure I can get me a thumbnail. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.